Hi, and welcome to Half Moon Tech Labs. Um, we're just a couple days after the air launcher video was released. I've had a lot of comments about uh, people wanting to see it in action. So I'm actually gonna put a, uh, a rope into a tree and hoist up my antenna. Uh, this is something I really needed to do. It's one of the reasons why I built the launcher. And uh, so if we look over here, we'll see up in this tree, it's kind of hard to see. We have an antenna on the ground. Um, this is my my 80 meter off center fed antenna right here. This is my 80 meter off center fed antenna, and you can see I've got a five kilowatt uh, four to one ballon current ballon right there. And you can see how I've uh, uh, done the supports on this. But anyway, the big problem is getting it up into the trees so that we can hoist it up into the air. So over here, if we follow it up. We've got one wire in the trees already it goes up into that pine right there and this is the side that I've had that I'm having problems with uh, this big tall tree in the background the tallest one you can see there sticking up right by that little poofy cloud that's actually the uh, that's the tree I need to get it over it's in my neighbor's yard I have her permission to use this uh, tree so but uh, but the rope kind of slipped down through the tree over the last few months after a big windstorm a, a limb came crashing down and kind of dragged my stuff down so I wanted to put that antenna back up there and reposition it. All right, so anyway, we've got the rope laid out and we're ready to take the shot. I'm gonna go uh, into the neighbor's yard with the air cannon. <laughs> and uh, it sounds weird saying that out loud. Uh, the air launcher. We're gonna use the air launcher today in the neighbor's backyard. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, I've got the uh, shot uh, all prepared. Let's uh, let's go over there and, uh, and try this. So I'm gonna hand the camera off to my wife and uh, she gets to be camera person. Here we go. All right, we're over in the neighbor's yard now, and we've got uh, we've got everything set up. This is the place where we're going to make the shot from. We're going to shoot over the top of this tree, right here, and with any luck, it's going to come down in our backyard, and we'll go pick up the projectile and hoist the the rope back up through. All right, so let's put a little air inside this thing and uh, get to shooting. got a little air in there already just using a bicycle pump to pump up the pressure we're gonna bring it up to about 50 psi that's good Okay, well we got the uh, got the projectile. I'm going to disconnect the string and tie it onto this uh, piece of black Dacron, which is much heavier. That's the piece I'm actually going to hoist the antenna wire up into the tree with. But first, we got to twitch that. Uh, that larger rope up into the tree behind this one and uh, get it all situated. Back in a second. And there it is. Okay. Now we have our real antenna support rope going through the tree. I'm going to tie this off with the carabiner to the eye hook, like I said, and then we're going to go hoist up the antenna. Okay, we've got the rope on the other side. Um, I have the side with the antenna that's gonna pass through this pulley. The piece we just, the rope we just put through the tree, I'm gonna uh, pull that down and uh, secure it to the trunk of the tree on an eye hook. And then this side is terminated on this pulley. This side goes to the antenna and this side stays on the tree side. This way I can raise and lower the antenna. So anyway, we've got a carabiner clipped to the fence over there. That'll hold this in place while I hoist it up. So let's go do that.
So now we have the pulley up in the tree, probably hard to see. It's right there. Down here, we've got the antenna. This is the actual antenna wire tied off to an insulator. The other side of the insulator is on that Dacron. A Dacron makes a loop. This is a second piece of Dacron, not the one we pulled up through the tree. This is simply going up through the pulley. And this allows me to hoist my antenna up in the air. Watch this. So now you can see the 80 meter OCF is starting to go up in the air. Okay. All right. Oh, little bird is <laughs> found the wire. All right, so now we're free of all the limbs. I'm just gonna make my final adjustment, raise this up a couple more feet, tie it off, and that's it. So we've got it tied off in tension now. We've got the uh, 80 meter OCF antenna, wire antenna, 135 feet long, stretched across two trees. I'm going to spin it around so you can see it there. There it is up in the air. You can see the clouds are starting to set in. We've got a thunder shower on the way, so finish this just in time. Anyway, coax comes down, goes through the backside along the fence line, comes over here, attached to this uh, strain relief with a spring, a couple of dog anchors that are uh, pushed into the ground. Anyway, looks like it worked out really well. Um, the launcher worked exactly as expected. The uh, projectile, to be honest, the first shot I missed. The second one uh, got it right through the uh, the intended branch, and the rest of the fun was just twitching it through the through the branches and getting the, the ropes freed and tied off so that we can uh, hoist up the antenna wire. But anyway, as you can tell, worked out excellent. That's it from Half Moon Tech Labs. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.